Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Before we get started, I want to let you know that you can find all the code examples and resources we'll be using today in the GitHub repository linked in the video description below. This repository serves as a valuable companion to the tutorial, allowing you to follow along, experiment and explore the code on your own time. Hello everyone, today we are going to explore how to retrieve data from both client and server side using Next.js. Uh, we'll be looking at the get session hook, at the use session hook and the get server session to get data. So let's get started and understand how effectively work with authentication and data retrieval in our Next.js. Everybody knows that getting data is crucial for various reasons in web development, especially when working without authentication. Uh, here, I want to list a few really important key reasons why getting data is important. First of all, is the user personalization. Obtaining user-specific data sometimes allows you to personalize the user experience. For instance, you can display personalized content settings recommendation based on the user profile, and much more. Authentication and access control. Assessing user data is essential for implementing proper authorization and access control mechanisms. So it enables, it enables, for example, you to ensure the user have the right permission at the right time to view or modify specific content. Another important key reason is the user feedback and interaction. Gathering data about the user interaction and activities helps in understanding user behavior. This information can be valuable for analytics, allowing you to improve the, for example, the usability of your application based on how users in interact with it. So another one is the session management. For example, retrieving data is often tied to session management. It allows you to maintain a consistent user experience across different parts of, of your application. Uh, by, for example, keeping track of the user authentication status and session data. Also, it's important for customization and preferences uh, to implement customization features, for example. User maybe have some preferences or settings that affect how they interact with your application and retrieving this data tailor the user experience accordingly. And uh, another Im really important factor is the server-side operations. In some cases, certain data needs to be fetched or processed on the server-side for security or performance reasons. So understanding how to retrieve data is on the server-side is extremely important to, for handling such scenarios. And uh, in summary, getting data is a fundamental aspect of building interactive and personalized web application. It not only enhance the user experience, but also enables you to implement essential features related to security authorization and customization. So understanding how to effect efficiently retrieve and manage data is a key to developing robust and user-friendly web application. Let's discover how to do it. Let's get back in our project. So you can see here. We have our protected page that we created with the previous chapter. I want to implement the use session here and the get session here. I want to show you through the terminal or through the browse console how the session data is, uh, is structured. So first of all, we need a use effect to play some actions after the page is rendered. We want to show on the terminal our object our data so we use the use effect from react we want use effect to fetch data from the get session before it I, we need to import the get session method the session instance from the from the next path here we go. We also want to, I want to show you also other features like get CSRF token. These are specific to get and interact with it. And we also want to get the providers we are using now. So this is another uh, useful instance that we can use from the next pod. In our use effect, we are going to create a function to fetch the data that we call fetch data. It's going to be an async function, of course. Let's write the body here. 
what we want to get is first of all the session we want to get the session with our imported method that is a get session we initialize, we initialize it here and here we go this is the get session we are working on the client side okay later we will see how to get data from the server side so we can implement this this logic the get session the get providers the get csrf token in every page of our project let's uh, also initialize uh, we get also the csrf token and the providers let's see how we are the if the providers have to show us that actually we are using the credential provider get providers here we go so we are consoling log all this data so we finish to implement this logic and use effect let's see what the application will print on our console in the browser i want to go to the to our protected page this is our protected page we just put this one and we sign in and here we go we have our data here we are in the protected page the protected content and we can go directly here protected page now we are seen in as Samuele so we see here our session object so this is our session we can see all the information like when it expired the name the user information that we return back from from our api route the credential and we have everything here so actually we will we see the session the csrf token and the providers where is the providers i don't see here here, this is the provider. This is the session. This is the CSRF token. And this is provider. That's okay. This is the credential object that show us the list of our credential. And uh, here we go. This is the first one. Actually, we have only ones, but if we implement more than one credential, we will see all the lists here. We are using the credential provider with the callback URL. Let's go back here. The ID is credential. The name is my website and the type is credential. Here we go. We have all the things here. So actually, the get session is client side, no server side. The get CSRF token is both client side and server side. The get providers, it's both client side and server side. Let's see on the server side how we can use this method and the other method to get the session data uh, that is called get server session. So let's go let's create our server side component okay first of all i want to create a new ssr component we call ssr page inside this we are going to create a new file that is page.tsx and here we go this is just a normal page export default function we call server page i want to get the session data first of all so the session is going to be this one but we have to invoke a get server session this is the equivalent of uh, uh, use session from the client side the get server session we have to put uh, a parameter that actually is the hot options uh, because the server doesn't know actually what is the option of these functions we import the hot options from our api route okay from this api route that we create at the beginning of our tutorial we are going to import this option that we export here okay so the function need to receive on the parameter all this information so we are here we import with 
that is next out that actually is that one route here we go and we put this one inside our function after that i want to return our information uh, but we cannot return as object but we need to stringify the object to show on the browser and we're going to see the session let's see here we go our application is already on local host is here let's try to reach our ssr page and see how the session is composed we forget to specify that the function is asynchron is important because we are using an await if not it will not work and if we go to the has ask page uh, it can resolve we have some problem with the import let's see module hot options let's see if everything is correct is called opt option so this is this is okay from app from api from hot from oh three dots man that's correct and here we go we have our session object we see the name we see the email and the image actually we don't see other information like expiration because we can see only on the client side I want to see if these two instances will work also on the on the server side as I told you before. Let's see. We import actually from here. We don't see anything. Of course, we don't see anything because we have to initialize. It's not an object, it's just function. And uh, I don't remember if I have to put a hot option also here. I think yes, let's try. I think uh, it's logically we need the same. See us F. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is something. It's not a function. Maybe we have to import from React. Like the page. Yes, the page before. We cannot import from Nexot, but so from this one. Let's try if it works. And here we go. It works. We have to import, of course, to the same library that is Next React. We have our token, and we want to see also the provider here. The same way we get provider with the hot option, we call providers. Here we go. And we see the provider. We have all the information, we have the credentials, provider, the this credential name, this information that we saw before is the callback URL, is the API that I use to get the credential information. That's all for this session. Thanks for joining in and I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. Stay tuned because with the next chapter, we are going to dive inside a callback function. We have reached the end of this video tutorial and I genuinely hope you have enjoyed its content. If it has been helpful to you, please show your support by liking the video and sharing it with your friends on social media. If you haven't already, I warmly invite you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on upcoming lessons. Don't forget to check out my website, thevergolabs.com, where you will find a plethora of interesting programming content. You can also send me collaboration requests and explore all the programming services we offer. Your participation and support are crucial in my growing and to grow this community and providing you with even more valuable resources. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for being here with us and I look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial.